Good afternoon, Living Word Church. Indeed, you are Living Word Church. You are the Church of the Living God. That's why you are Living Word Church. I just want to share something with you guys today. You know, David, when he tried to get away from Abimelech, he uh, acted crazy like he was insane, and it actually worked. And um, so the Lord delivered him through his act of insanity. And um, he was able to write Psalms 34. And in it, in verse 1, it says, I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. You know, that is easy to say when things are doing well and things are going right and everything is just scope aesthetic. You know, we're just enjoying life and we're just getting the best out of life. But, uh, but you know, when you bless the Lord, when things are not going right, when things are rough, and uh, the sun seems to be setting as opposed to be rising, when the things you've been praying for, instead of seem like they're being answered, it's like it's being delayed. When you look around you and, um, you know, you don't see hope, you see despair, you see anxiety and depression. But if you look a little harder and you dig a little deeper, you too, like David, whether you pretend to be nuts or you just decide, you know what, even if it doesn't feel right, I'm going to do it anyway because the Lord is my defense. And so you choose to praise the Lord in your sorrow, in your despair, in your anxiety, in your bewilderment, in your disappointment and discouragement. And you say to yourself, bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. So like David, we need to say, I will praise the Lord at all times. His praises shall continually be in my mouth. God bless you.